he was unjustly shot and unjustly murdered. And murder is murder whether you wear a badge or not. A lawsuit filed against the city of Springfield, the Springfield Police Department, and the DEA by the mother of a murder victim. Caleb Slay was shot and killed in his front yard by a DEA agent in 2020. The shooting was ruled justified by the county prosecutor, but Slay's mother calls it murder. Color 10's Carissa Codell spoke with Slay's mom today about why she is filing this lawsuit. Carissa. Yeah, tomorrow is the three year anniversary of Caleb Slay's death. His mother, Tina, tells me aside from the Justice Department opening an entirely new investigation, this lawsuit is the only way to get justice for her son. Three years ago, my son was executed in his front yard. A Springfield mom taking on the city and the federal government. I am very much looking forward to all of the evidence all of the witnesses uh, coming forward, hearing their story and getting the truth because for three years, the truth has not been present at all. According to the lawsuit, 25 year old Slay was walking up his driveway when a DEA agent tasered him and shot him multiple times. Prosecutors say Slay was armed and resisting, but Slay's mother disagrees. The lawsuit also claims when a Springfield police sergeant arrived at the scene, he did not give Slay proper care before Slay died at the scene. His life mattered and he should be here right now. Now Slay's mom is suing on his behalf and in the process of writing two bills. One is called the Brady Accountability Act and the other one is called Caleb's Law. Caleb's law would mandate a 72 hour hold on releasing victims names to the public. In this instance, Caleb's name was released 20 minutes after I was notified and his little sister, nine years old, heard about it on the local news instead of surrounded by her family. Tina tells me her son was going to start school the next year to study criminology to then go into the police academy. I told him three years ago that I had him and I meant it and I will not give up and I will not stop. And I reached out to the DEA who did not call me back. Both the city of Springfield and SPD said they cannot comment on ongoing lawsuits. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Carissa Codell, Color 10 News.